All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna run through two tricep exercises that you should be doing. So if you wanna grow those huge ass guns, focus on the tricep, as it's the muscle that is the biggest in the upper arm, especially this one right here, the back one, the rear one, it's the long hat. As you can see, it's much bigger than this one right here, and also bigger than the bicep. So if you wanna grow huge guns, focus on the tricep, especially the long hat. Just as with my previous bicep video, this video is going to be from a scientific point of view. Many people confuse optimization with being more and more restricted in their lifestyle, thinking that if they optimize and optimize, their life will be as interesting as a wet sock. However, when it comes to training, optimization just means training smarter. So within the time that you are already investing, have a better, more knowledgeable approach to your training, which leads to better and faster results. And I simply don't understand why you wouldn't take on that approach because you would just be wasting time. Otherwise, as a male, you should try to be as good as you can possibly be in all fields that you add value to. Be the best parent because you're basically responsible to whatever your children will turn into. If you're a good parent, good dad, and they will have a good life, good personality. So the better you be, the better they will become. The better your physique will be, the more likely you'll be able to be a good parent. Give them the right nutrition, teach them the right values. Do not make them lazy, keep them active. When it comes to a professional point of view, everything is a competition. If you walk into a room of men and you automatically gain respect, you'll be more trustworthy. People will be more likely to do business with you, likely to be the one who gets that raise or that opportunity that might be the next step forward in your career. Same with women in your 20s or even 30s, you can spend a lot of time into chasing them. You could also just develop yourself into a great physique to becoming a good man, and then you'll become a magnet and then you get to decide which one you want to be spending your time with. We dwelled off there a little bit. Basically, why the scientific approach after six to 12 months of training experience, you'll notice that sooner or later, you will start hitting plateaus. The only way to overcome those plateaus is to take on a smarter, more knowledgeable approach. Every time you implement new knowledge and optimize your approach to training, you'll notice that you will be able to reach through plateaus again until you hit another one. And then again, repeat, you repeat the process, train smarter, accumulate more knowledge, apply that knowledge and keep going and going and going. Other than consistency, this is the difference between those who spend 10 years in the gym and they hardly change and those who spend two, three years and they have an elite, incredible physique. That's seven years wasted for that first guy. Don't be the one wasting seven years. Long enough intro, let's get to it. First one being a cross body tricep short head extension. With this one, we're going to be focusing on this short head of the tricep. To hit the short head of the tricep, you wanna do movements that go in a downward motion. Anything you do in an upward motion, basically above the head, is going to hit the long head. With this one, we are going to hit the short head. There are three heads in the tricep. There's the long, the lateral, and the medial. All triceps strengthen the elbow, but only long plus lateral helps stabilize the shoulder because the elbow is a hinge joint, which is why we ideally want to see the extensions or lines of forces that lie parallel to the plane that the elbow is moving in. You notice in this one how my elbow and the line, so my upper and lower arm are perfectly aligned with the cable. This should and can be done with the shoulder in various positions. You want to make sure that the direction of the cable is an exact same parallel line as the angle in which the elbow is moving. You see, perfect balance is all things should be. So if you're getting elbow pain doing for example school crushes, reason being is because your elbow is not aligned in the same range that you are pressing your triceps or the dumbbell into. You're basically loading the elbow in a direction it doesn't move. These were some knowledge bombs on biomechanics of the shoulder and the tricep. All right, so we've had the first one. Now we're going to be moving in overhead samurai tricep extensions. Once again with a cable, because cable, in my opinion, and in scientific opinion, is king. Because you can make sure that 
The movement or the full resistance curve is constantly stable. Whereas, for example, with this one, in two thirds of this range of motion, there's basically no tension on the tricep, only at the top. With a cable, it would have been constant. So don't do movements like these. Back to the Samurai tricep overhead extension. If you want to do this one correctly, do not move your elbows too much. You'll start cheating. You want the muscle to be the only limiting factor within the movement, so no other muscle should get involved too much. You don't want to cheat, so keep that elbow in a fixed position. You want to program something that is shortened position bias and lengthened position bias, which basically means harder at the bottom. So shortened position bias means that the hardest part of the movement is in the bottom position, which is the case in our first exercise. And in this one, the hardest part is going to be in the footy lengthened position. So at the bottom of the tricep overhead extension, because in this case, the tricep is fully lengthened. So these are two awesome picks to train your triceps, scientifically optimal, hitting up much of the parameters of successful hypertrophy exercise selection. And in addition, you want to be training the muscle through various angles. People often say that bodybuilding or fitness is not functional. However, it should be. So for example, as I said as well in the previous video regarding biceps, you wanna train all the functions of the shoulder. So you wanna have shoulder moving upwards, downwards, forward, and backward. If you skip one of these, you're going to create a disbalance, which later on eventually will lead to injury. And when it comes to muscle building purposes, you also want to train the muscle for various angles. Cross with your shoulder and perform it like that. Just make sure that you incorporate all different angles when it comes to tricep movements. However, this cannot always be done within the same program. We simply do not have the recovery capacity to do three plus sets per angle that we could basically be doing. So you wanna make sure that you switch up from programming and exercise selection in the right moment in time, which is different for every individual depending on various factors. So yes, you do not want to be program hopping. You don't want to be super frequently changing up movements but at some point you do want to. Otherwise you'll get injured and your progress will be much less than what it could be. All right, some knowledge bombs for you. Another thing you see people often do are overhead dumbbell tricep extensions like these. These are not bad. However, there are better ones. And as I mentioned in the start of the video, I believe you should try to do everything you do and add value to it to the best of your abilities, which also means that you want to pick exercises that are optimal from a scientific point of view so you can get the most out of the least time. These were my two tricep exercises that you should be doing. Now, if you struggle with figuring out this concrete plan for you and knowing when you should be switching up between these exercises and movements. So you make sure that you are training from a functional point of view and get the most out of your time investment. And on top, also wanna make sure that there is balance between total workload, workload capacity, recovery capacity, and the amount of workload you're doing, because there has to be a balance there. If there isn't, you will not be making progress, which is why you wanna have a personalized plan, once again, because everyone is different Everyone's lifestyle is different. Everyone's advancement per muscle group is different. And it's not about how much you can do, but about how well you are able to recover from what you are doing. With nutrition, it's energy in versus out, first and foremost. With training, it's this. If you don't hit this, if you don't have this in balance, you will simply do not make the progress that you wanna be making. So if you wanna figure out how you need to do this, then you can hit the link in the bio and we can set up a one-on-one -on -one strategy meeting consultation and we will look into which steps you need to take to accumulate that knowledge you can constantly keep developing and never have to rely on videos tiktoks or reels ever again hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one ciao bella get big stay big and become the best version of yourself that you my man can be ciao